Hey, what's up you guys? So it's Carl Says, and I know you've been waiting a while, but since this is my first real actual video, I wanted to put a lot of hard work into it. And we're super lucky because it's sponsored. Woo! I am so excited to talk about the sponsor slash content for this video because it's a web app that I use consistently. Whenever I'm trying to nail a really complex pose, I pull it up. So in this very special, very first real video on my channel, I am going to be teaching you guys how to use Just Sketch Me. And I'm really glad that they asked me to do this because on my TikTok about Just Sketch Me, you guys had a lot of questions. And I mean, a lot of questions. So I am here to break it down for you. Before we jump right into Just Sketch Me, I am going to give a quick lesson on understanding 3D space. But if you're not a beginner and you wanna skip that part, there's a timestamp below. Okay, so the way that 3D space works is it works on three axes. Axes? Axes? There's three. <laughs> and there's the X one, which is like left and right. And there's the Y axis, which is up and down. Those are basic. You learn those in math. Um, but there's like a, there's a third one that we don't really talk about as much, which is the Z axis. And the Z axis is like forward and backward, forward and backward. It can be hard to grasp at first, but it's pretty easy to understand. In order to rotate around the screen, you are going to click and drag anywhere, and that'll have you hovering around. To pan, you will hit control and click and drag in the same way. Zooming in is scrolling up and down, and we're ready to move on to the next part. In the bottom left, we have manipulate joints, move, and scale, which is stretching and squashing. Up here, you can find undo and redo, which are also available using the usual shortcuts, command Z and shift command Z. Up in the top left, you can add more models to the scene, and you can even add props. Down in the bottom right, you have the option to save your pose, and you can change the pose of each hand. We're gonna save the top right toolbar for later. Okay, so with manipulate joints turned on, you'll be able to click on any of the dots on the mannequin and begin rotating. Once you click on a dot, some rings will appear. You'll want to grab the little arrow on the ring in order to begin rotating. You'll notice that there's a red, green, and blue one. The red, green, and blue correspond to the X, Y, and Z axis. Now you'll want to be careful because you can over rotate and make the model overlap. You'll want to avoid this, except for in very special cases. Okay, so this middle pink one is going to be the hip. And if you've ever taken an anatomy course, then you know that the hip basically guides all movement. So it makes sense that if you move the hip in this program, then it moves the entire body. For this next part, I will be taking you guys along with me while I set up some poses and just sketch me for a drawing that I'm working on. This way I can show you guys how I use the program and give you some tips and tricks to help your process. Just before we get into it, I do want to preface this by saying that it is important to have a general understanding of how to construct a good pose and what a strong pose looks like. When I am posing my model in Just Sketch Me, I first adjust the hips and then I manipulate the curvature of the spine. And as I'm doing this, I'm looking back at my reference photos that I gathered earlier. And just as a tip, when I'm doing it, I work from the middle out. So I do the spine first and then the shoulders or hips and then from there the elbows and knees and then finally the hands and feet. Here is a time lapse of me setting up the pose and this is the sketch that I used it to create. You can see that as I am working I'm rotating around the figures so that I can make sure that it looks correct from almost every angle. Okay, now that we have completed our pose, I am going to show you guys this final menu that I haven't gone over yet. In here we have dark mode and light mode. We have a slider which controls your ambient lighting, which is essentially the atmospheric lighting in this scene, like how lit up or dark the room is. The second slider is going to be for your spotlight. 
The spotlight is that yellow orb that's in the scene. You can rotate it and move it around and decide where your light source is coming from. But the slider is for controlling how intense it is. The lighting controls are by far my favorite part of Just Sketch Me because of the fact that now you don't just have a pose reference, but you also have a lighting reference. If you set it up correctly to match the lighting that you're going for. Switching on hard shadows creates darker, easier to see shadows in the scene, which I enjoy using because my art utilizes a lot of cell shading. You can also toggle on and off the outlines. I like keeping these on because it helps me see overlapping shapes. You can also toggle off and on the floor grid, but I don't recommend turning it off because it helps you visualize what angle or perspective the camera is looking at the character from. It will also help you place background elements when you're drawing. Finally, there's field of view. This is used to distort how the camera sees the image. You can use this to push or pull the perspective and make it even more dramatic or dynamic. Now that you're finished, you can go to the bottom right and export it as an image. Now before wrapping things up, I just want to say that you should never feel ashamed of having to use references like this. References of all different kinds have been used by artists since the beginning of time. But these specifically, these human shaped jointed figures are called lay figures and they have been around since the early 1600s. If you've spent any time in an arts and crafts store, this is probably the version that you're most familiar with. So when you think about it, Just Sketch Me is just the modern evolution of a long line of lay figures. And I think it's pretty cool to think about the fact that we are following in the footsteps of centuries of artists. And I bet they'd think that a free program like this is really cool. <laughs> all right, with all that being said, here is the final piece. All right, guys, it's time to wrap things up. I'd like to thank all of my patrons. Lauren, Andreas, Rebecca, Elias, Taylor, Kevin, Christian, Theo, Caleb, and Aiden. And shout out to Kevin for the use of my theme song and get well boxes with background music. And finally, Peach PRC for letting me use her music for the outro. I love you, big fan. All right, see you guys next time. <laughs>